Hello everyone, today I'm going to make a pair of Ray-Ban 5228 prescription photofusion extra gray lenses with a red flash mirror for Victor in San Jose, California. First I want to give a shout out to his daughters Jayla and Camilla, but first this is free prescription lenses where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. I am the hardest working optician in the industry. My name is Seymour Better, but call me Mo Mo Better because I'm having Seymour Mo Better looking Mo Better and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I cut the Ray-Ban 5 228 color 2479, which has is black on the outside, red on the inside. In fact, let me take everything out of the original packaging as Ray-Ban sends it to me, the hard shell Ray-Ban case, cleaning cloth, and the star of the show, the main attraction. Now it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. Again, this is classic styling frame. It has what I call the shark fin temple. If it was upside down, it would look more like a shark fin. But it's a skinnier version of what's on some of the thicker temple Ray-Bans. Again, it has a red camouflage pattern on the inside. The camouflage pattern says Ray-Ban in white print on both sides. Again, this is the Ray-Ban 5228. This is size 53, color 2479. Uh, it's got the silver embedded Ray-Ban emblem on the left temple, not the right, just the left. And of course, it's got it written on the outside of both temples. So let me pop out the original demo lenses. Put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. I've assigned a barcode number to this. Victor is Secret Agent 3887. So years from now, should he ever need new lenses, I can, I'll have it programmed into the database and I can send the right lenses right to his home and he'll see how to do it. In fact, Jamila and, uh, let's try this again, uh, Jayla and Camilla may want to install the lenses for him next time. So I'm gonna hit the start button and a little stylus is gonna pop up and go around the inside bevel of the right frame. Hang on for one moment. Congratulations, you're the fifth caller on WFPL. How can I bring that love and feeling back to glasses for you? <laughs> I am. I'll call you back when I'm done. Thanks, Jigsaw. Bye bye. All right, goodbye. That's my website developer. He always likes to touch base with me every day. But yeah, so a stylus is going to go around, pop up, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame. We're doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com. You buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for your purchase with the itemized receipt that I can provide to you. Now, somebody at Zeiss, whose char is, job it is in charge to put stickers on the lenses with the features there, was out of work sick I guess so there's no stickers on these lenses I don't know which is the right or left usually they put the patient's prescription information on there today I got nothing got nothing so I've got a 50 50 chance this is the right lens actually you know what this I think is the left they actually do engrave things on there let me see if this one says aura <laughs> they both look like they say L all right so let's turn on my lensometer Put everything on zero. Put the power drum on minus one. We'll see if this is the right lens. It is not. How do I know? Because it's just not coming into focus like that one does. So, really I only need one dot on these lenses. And I don't know which way this is oriented just yet, but we're gonna call this one actually the right lens would be like that. So we're gonna do that. Put an R there. Put the power drum on minus 75, rotate it until the everything comes into focus, which on a spherical lens it'll do all the time. Wipe off the outside dots. The left lens is going to be there, so that is L. Now, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, I know it's a bad joke, but i got to sneak it in in every video. So... This is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while they are cutting, so I'm going to use a double-sided adhesive sticker, which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side. Stick this one onto the first one. Place it on the platform. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time, it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And I can take this out. It's no longer needed. Now, with the one dot... 
Well, actually, I need to move on to the screen. I need to enter your pupillary distance, of which I have to do very little work. His PD is 65 divided by 2 is 32.5, so that's where the computer starts at. I'm going to go up to 21 millimeters. We're going to go 2 above the center and cut it at 21 high. So, that black dot, there's too many black dots. There we go. Now, just the one black dot, I'm going to rotate it until... Make sure, yeah, there we go. That'll work. Okay. Hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block on the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with because I ain't right neither. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Place the dot in the center. So maybe you can see the numbers that are engraved into the lens. They etch that in there to know it's Victor's prescription before the mirror coating, before all of that occurs so it's a, essentially an identification number for the lens to know who it belongs to while it's being treated hit that button the arm comes down places the block onto the left lens now this is the tracer this is the blocker this is what's known as the edger this is what's going to do all the work while i run my mouth that's fair isn't it it costs forty thousand dollars it weighs 200 pounds i recommend everyone go out buy their own put it on the handlebars of your bike or your scooter and then you can cut lenses at home while you're while you're scooting around so it's going to do that on this cutting wheel on the left this is a diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material from this size to this size this wheel in the center has that v-shaped bevel it's going to put the bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame so i'm going to wake up the computer job id number 3887 38887 so I've transferred the data from here to here or as I like to say installment 3887 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America so Jayla Camilla I'm gonna save a number for you it might be about 20 million but we'll see <laughs> all right so these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex we would select that material which are just different lens materials, but I'm going to stick with polycarbonate because it's my lens material of choice, and I'll explain why later. I'm not going to put a polish on the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame. I'm not going to put a bevel, safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to place the magnet, and now the magnet's going to do its job its second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Did I mention free bad jokes with the making of every pair of glasses? So I'm going to hit the green start button. A dirty door is going to close. Secret Agent 2840 hates my dirty door. <laughs> but uh, everyone just ignore that. Just pretend you don't see all the smudges there. It'll clean itself off uh, in this cycle. But So the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. And on the second go around, it's measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which Victor will have none with his prescription in this frame. Now the lens is going to drop down on the cutting wheel. You see water flickering in the background. That's there to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate, my lens material of choice, cuts dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting. Unlike the other materials, plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex, which cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto Victor's lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris you might see beginning to form had this door be, been clean. But again, the reason why I like polycarbonate is it's 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. Polycarbonate has built in 100% UVA and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every few hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now, Victor got a lot of specialty add-ons in his lenses. He's got the red flash mirror on the front of the lens. He has the DuraVision Sun back surface anti-glare coating. He's got 50 to 70% blue light protection built into the Photofusion extra gray element of this lens. The 
last few years everyone's been focused on the blue light emitted from today's electronic devices such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and of course the number one source of blue light on the planet, the sun. Alright, so water has begun spraying which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. Now blue light can affect the cicada rhythms, not cicada, that insect that comes out every 17 years, but it disrupts sleep patterns. Some say can be responsible for ADD in kids. It also says it can help offset macular degeneration as you get older. Currently, there is no cure for macular degeneration. So, if it helps with that one feature alone, that's worth the price of admission. So these lenses have the most complete protection of any lenses that I offer. The Photofusion Extra Gray with either five colors of flash mirror silver gold green blue red or where do i leave a silver gold green blue and red okay so i'm going to dry everything off and make sure there's no optical sawdust on the back of the lenses we're going to see if the lens fits in there first time around if not i'll take it down some more now the reason why i put the the, the front of the lens is not rough by any means but i want the back surface of the lens as smooth as possible that's why i put the safety bevel on the back because I'm going to see if the lens fits in here on the first time. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corners. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. I'm not reaching across the frame. I tuck it in at the outside corners with my thumbs. I press down at the nose and it snaps right in. Now, if the back surface of the lens was rough, as I press down, I don't want any rough surfaces coming in contact with the frame, possibly scratching it or marring the finish in any way. You want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses. So I'm going to now place the magnet into the chuck, or I'm going to call it the Jayla and the Camilla. Hit the start button just like before the door closes. It's a little bit cleaner this time, Secret Agent 2840. It's going to be traced again by the two white styluses, making sure it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And you can see as it's go around tracing the shape of the left side. Ding! Turn the page. And of course measuring the thickness at every point to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which let me take this block off of which you've got no edge thickness look at that you got none you got nothing there Victor so I'm pull the sticker away use my hand approved drying method throw that back in there add to my sticker collection that's about to you like that it's getting bigger and bigger I should have a raffle to see who wants to win that we're gonna come down here put it in actually and grab a new one here I'll just put a new PD on there. Place it in there, read the power, and I am getting... I'm getting minus one in the red. The red minus is not the black... Hang on, where it is? Not the black positives. The red minuses. That's because Victor's prescription is minus one. The unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. It starts at zero and goes up in quarter increments from there, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1. So he's on the fourth rung of the ladder. There's a minus sign because with his glasses off, everything is much too large. So his lenses minify. It is the opposite of a magnifying lens. His lenses minify four steps. Now he has no astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. So his prescription is completely spherical. Now the left eye, he's only on the third rung of a ladder at minus 75. Now this frame, the Ray-Ban 5228 comes in five sizes and about a dozen colors. They all sell for $183. You get one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses with the purchase of any frame. The Photo Fusion Extra Gray adds 129. The red flash mirror is 69 for a total of 381 tax free before the $35 fee that he paid for the video, which is a great investment, I should say. And <laughs> I would say that, wouldn't I? I think I'm a little biased, but it's 381 tax free because I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and there is no tax collected on medical devices. A lot of people selling glasses on the internet are now having to charge tax. I don't. So, had I, the state sales tax is 7.5%. 381 times 
if he were to buy these from someone else he would have to pay an additional $28.57 instead he can put that towards towards Jayla and Camilla's college fund all right I'm gonna take this out dry everything off or if they want to go to the movies instead now that it's finally opening up and movie theaters are starting to open although I haven't gone yet look I lost your glasses they're down here so we're going to I have again I have the side I'm working on closest to me I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corners press down with my thumbs it snaps right in take the block off pull the sticker away again dry it off with my hand step back shoot the three-pointer oh and he makes it add to my sticker collection come down here I've still got the black dot on there put it in over that black dot read the power and I'm getting minus 75 going away from zero towards one we stop just short at 0.75 three quarters of a diopter now the other last steps of final inspection is to measure the pupillary distance and the optical center eye just like the crosshairs of a scope I measure vertically and horizontally to make sure that the prescription is dead center in front of his eye so I'm going to turn the card around place the PD stick against my thumb when we hold it up to the left lens we're getting 65 millimeters perfectly the optical center height of 21 now not to the bottom of the lens but halfway into the deepest part of the frame we're getting 21 millimeters 21 millimeters the reason why we don't measure to the bottom of the lens because the lens goes halfway into the frame now the last step is as I clean your lenses by the way I always like to mention there's free shipping anywhere in the US and its territories I do offer international shipping for an additional $35 speaking of which I've got to set up a VAT number for someone in England who purchased now that they have done the brexit I can't ship to England as easily as I used to I have to set up a VAT number I've really got to do that today so I can get those shipped all right so the last step is to get it and a final inspection is to make sure it's in standard alignment also known as a three-point stance the three-point by the way when you get these in the mail there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear higher than the other and i'm no different i'll show you in just a moment but because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm gonna get them in standard alignment first what that means is a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set it on the counter and press down there is no wobble now when i say wobble i'm part of that 80 percent when i take mine off and press down they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me for those of you keeping score at home i'm wearing the christian eyewear Philippians 4.13, that Bible passage reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you want to see all the available colors and sizes of this frame, go to Christian Eyewear and click on Philippians 4.13. So, flip over, press down, there is no wobble, close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. So, the... I have the DuraVision Blue Protect, which has a purplish hue on the front of these lenses. His has a reddish hue where it looks like a red anti-glare coating. Same on the back of his lenses, it looks red while the lenses are clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light to cause the lenses to darken. One of these really nice features about this frame that as you wear them, as you drop your head down, people see the different colors when they look through the lens with the part that doesn't go behind you or in the view impeded by your temple has people will see the red that's one of the really nice features about this frame it's probably the best selling color but it also comes with a white camouflage where it's white on the inside with red ray-ban written but again it looks red on both sides but when i activate it you'll see the DuraVision sun back surface anti-glare coating really really be visible now now anti-glare is three features in one it reduces glare when driving at night particularly driving at night in the rain but from street lights stop lights computer screens overhead fluorescent lights and such it also reduces reflection so when someone's looking at you they're not seeing the reflection in your glasses although with the mirror 
coatings there is a still a residual mirror effect inside again it looks like an anti-glare coating on steroids but let me go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of light now as you can see oh peter brady moment there as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute now this is important victor camilla jayla all photochromic transition lenses will darken on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that prevent that your dashboard from cracking from sitting in the sun, and that's also what prevents the lenses from darkening. Now, having said that, look at that. Look at that red mirror now. Having said that, these Photofusion Extra Great lenses will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now you see the red mirror on the front of the lenses when I turn it around. You can now see the greenish color of the DuraVision Sun back surface anti-glare coating. That's what Zeiss puts on all their premium polarized and mirrored lenses. Now when Victor looks out, he's going to see the dark gray. When people look at him, they're going to see that red mirror outdoors. And that's going to be really, really cool with this frame. So, again, as he drops his head, they'll see the red on the inside and the red mirrored lenses. But they're also, all photochromic lenses, I always like to point out, are temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody or nothing works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Now, having said that, these Photofusion Extra Gray lenses are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. And if you live in a hot climate or you just want the darkest lens possible or if you want one of the five mirror coatings, you can get that on the Photofusion Extra Gray. Now, the regular Photofusion lenses have 30 to 50% blue light protection built into them. Photofusion, well, Photochromic was the very first blue light protection lenses. Not everyone gets a Photochromic lens, so that's why they've come out with DuraVision Blue Protect, which is just the anti-glare coating that prevents blue light for those who don't get the Photofusion. But, Victor, I would love to have a, a selfie of two of them, actually, one with you indoors, one with you um, when they're clear, one with you outside showing the red lenses, the red mirror activated. You're going to get all the original packaging from Ray-Ban, including the bag with the barcode number on there. The hard shell case, the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, of course the sleeve to protect the lenses, I mean the frame, the demo lenses that come with the frame. You're going to get one of my premium microfiber cleaning cloths as well as instructions on not only how to care for your frame and lenses, but on, your, on the cleaning cloth. And actually, you know what? Hang on, hang on. Keep focusing on the machine. Look over there. Look over there. And your Zeiss cleaning cloth that comes with your lenses. So you're going to have three cleaning cloths and a case with uh, instructions on how to care for all of those. Now, I'll have a link in the description below for anyone who wants this Ray-Ban 5228 frame. I'll have a link with the Photofusion lenses and the DuraVision mirror coatings as well as all their anti-glare coatings. Um, well, if you have any questions, go to the Contact Me page of the website. While you're on the website, scroll down to the bottom of the page. Sign up for our newsletter because that's where any sales or promotions will be running. The, I will be doing that soon. We just have to make a compile all into the database everyone's email to send out a blast to show what monthly specials we have coming. And But that's it. You can also leave a message or a comment in the comment section below. The Wait, I was going to mention something else. I was going to mention something else. I was supposed to tell everybody. I can't remember now. <laughs> Jigsaw, what am I supposed to say? Anyway, that's it. Um, the... Oh, here's an idea. Here's an idea. I'm thinking about coming up with, and it's not what I was going to say, though. Thinking about coming up with my own insurance plan. Because, again, these were $381. How would you like if, after you get these, a month after you get these, make sure you're happy with everything, you can sign up and every 24 months, which is roughly when people get new glasses, every two years they go back and see the doctor. Instead of spending $381 all at once, what if you could divide that by 24 and pay $15.87 per month and then at the end of two years you've already got it saved up and you can make your purchase. I'm thinking about implementing that plan. I was the first person to show how to cut lenses on the internet. I do not want to rest on my laurels. I want to come up with a new 
idea that's never been done before because so many people do not have vision insurance. I just want to float that idea out there where the, you can automatically have your credit card billed for $15.87 or I can also have a flat rate fee of you know $150 every two years, $200, $250 and on up. That way even if you spend $200 and the glasses are $381 you only have to pay $181 at checkout. So I'm going to try and do that. Just thinking off the top of my head here. What else do I need to mention? <laughs> Jigsaw, help me. Help me, Jigsaw. We talked about this weekend. But nonetheless, I'll do it in the next video. Whatever important. Oh, yeah. All lenses are mercury-free starting tomorrow. <laughs> so Victor is getting the last pair of radioactive lenses. Hey, someone's got to get the last pair. But his lenses are uh, low-sodium, um, gluten-free. <laughs> So he's got that going for him. So I'm stalling. I'm stalling. What did I do in the movie? Stretch, stretch. Okay, I was supposed to mention something in the videos. Oh well. Forget it. I'm just not going to remember. So, Victor in San Jose, California. Again, last shout out to Jayla and Camilla. Thank you so much for the purchase of the Ray Ban 5228 53 eye size, color 2479 with your Zeiss Photofusion Extra Gray lenses with the red flash mirror. And now, hopefully, everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.